I'm fashion mogul Rico Chappelle from the House of Chappelle, and I'm here to show you how to sew like a pro. The most challenging part of sewing is getting started. So today, I'm gonna to show you the tools you need to get it popping. Of course, the first thing you need is a sewing machine. Now, I would simply recommend a sewing machine not over $100. You can go to Walmart or Target to get something for like 79 bucks. This particular sewing machine right here is a Singer, and it was roughly around $200. But it's a heavy-duty sewing machine, so I sew a lot of denims, um, leather, but it can also be filtered down to sew silks and chiffons and all that good stuff. Um, and I also would recommend basically a cone thread holder. And for example, this cone thread versus this little spool of thread this may run you about a dollar to two fifty. This cone thread may run you about three to six dollars. It depends on if you get it on sale or not. So, and as you can see, this has way more yardage of, of thread on it than this little spool of thread. So I would recommend you use a cone thread just to save money in the long run. Just trust me, you'll thank me later. And outside of the sewing machine, one of the most important parts as well is basically a start to sew kit that comes with scissors, measuring tape, pin cushion, needles, threader, a seam ripper, chalk, and a sewing gauge as well. Um, me personally, I don't use this. I rather buy these things individually because I love different qualities. Say, for example, a different quality of, of scissor, a scissor. Um, that's sharper and I'm left-handed so I love to get left-handed scissors but if you go to www.houseofchappelle and click on uh, my blog spot you will have different brands that you can choose from um, and basically build your sewing kit from there or simply just buy this inexpensive sewing kit okay cool beans um, next you're gonna need rulers and on the wall we have different rulers but to get started just a simple clear ruler and this ruler is around six or seven dollars, but you can also go to the dollar store and get a ruler for like 50 cents or a buck. And an alternate thing to use besides a pin cushion is a wand. And I'm kind of messy when I'm sewing, so this helps clean up the pins or anything that's uh, magnetic or would stick to magnetic or steel, per se. Um, just use a magical wand. I won't say a magical wand, but a magnetic wand. So next, I would say purchase you a good sturdy table. I would stay away from card tables, um, tables that your mom and dad play tunk on. Stay away from it because basically when you start sewing, it's going to be vibrating so bad, you're not going to be able to get a steady grip on a sewing machine to sew your piece or your garment, your pillow, or whatever you decide to make. Um, so Ikea, I would say, is the best bet. And if you don't have an Ikea in your neighborhood, I would just say go to Target or Walmart and pick up a sturdy, sturdy desk that you can sew on. Um, next, I would say a great iron. Do not go invest in a million dollar iron because I remember I purchased an expensive iron and about two months into it, I dropped it and I couldn't return. I couldn't find a receipt and it was a wrap for the iron. So I actually found this iron from Walmart, $19. Um, I added a Teflon cover and a Teflon cover is, it protects your fabric, especially for you fellas that love to earn your dress pants and not your, your, your suit jacket. And then after a couple of years, your dress pants looking frosty and, and shiny, this will prevent that. And ladies, when you know when you're earning your slacks and your dresses, and, and especially if it's an inexpensive fabric and it starts to shine when you press that heat to it, this Teflon cover will help you out. And of course, an ironing board. You don't have to do an expensive ironing board. You don't have to do an expensive cover because after a while, it tends to get dirty and glue and from hem tape and your iron just burns it. So I would say just get an inexpensive, but I actually, I actually would even recommend just covering your ironing board with muslin. And muslin is just the inexpensive cotton that you can just get from the fabric store. And last, I would say get a chair and it doesn't have to be overly expensive, overly complicated. This chair is basically an office chair, it was $40. It has a mesh backing and a great cushion and it's great for your back. I've been doing this for 14 years, and I would have to say this has been the best investment as far as a chair. The most important tool you have to have when you're sewing is basically patience. You're not gonna come out 
right the first, the second, or maybe the third time, but if you keep practicing and have a lot of patience, you'll come out on top and you'll learn how to sew like a pro. For more information, visit www.houseofchappelle.com.